A young man that they say could not be nothing, couldn't do nothing. Amazing, amazing what my God can do. It's amazing, amazing what my God can do. It's amazing, amazing what my God can do. We need to understand that we are a part of something bigger than who we are. It's amazing what God The church do. should be one foundation. Welcome to a life-changing experience with Evangelist Jerry Thompson. Evangelist Jerry Thompson has a sincere compassion and love for winning souls because the love of God has set him free from a life of crime and drugs. The need to go back and reach others has become a passion for Jerry Thompson. He illustrates his gratefulness towards God through the gift of writing and singing that the Lord has blessed him with. May you enjoy the music ministry of Evangelist Jerry Thompson. Welcome to Vision of Truth Outreach Ministry. This is yours truly, Reverend Jerry Thompson. Vision of Truth Outreach Ministry is a ministry where a nobody becomes a somebody. Hallelujah. I was 28 years old on my way to take a man's life and the Holy Spirit of God transformed my life, took me from a gunman to a God man. Now I'm 55, 54 years old and the Lord is now telling me that I need to share the testimony. Jerry, why did you pick the gun up in the first place? Ladies and gentlemen, not only will you be hearing that, but you'll be seeing me traveling and being invited by prime ministers, presidents, and many famous people around the world. May God bless you. Why I put the gun down. On this night, it's the Jane and Woolner community on others Jerry Thompson can be found wherever there's an audience. His story, a fight to reclaim a life lost to crime, guns, drugs, prostitution. Tonight, a rare glimpse into one man's triumph and the life he's left behind as Jerry takes us on a journey back in time. What these young men to be killers of each other? If I was to ask you this question, how would you answer? What leads young men, young women to the street life, to the life of prostitution, to the life of pimping, to the life of stealing? If I was to ask you that question, what would be your answer? For most of you out there, you'd say, you don't know. Because you grow your child right. And you didn't end up killing nobody or ended up on the street involved in those things. What is happening to our young people today, in this time and age? But I want to tell you all something. It's a worldwide problem. And it's only if we acknowledge together, we can make that difference. This ain't going to be no manby pampy story. It's going to be my story. It's going to be my story. And it all started in a small island in the West Indies. As a young man growing up, knowing only farm work, because my grandmother and grandfather, they were farmers. And all I knew was to get up each morning and do my chores as every other young man would having his parents involved in farming but there came a time when my grandmother came and said son 
You're going to be going overseas now, and you have someone that's going to be coming and picking you up and taking you back overseas. And when she told me that, I thought to myself, well, I hear that it's a wonderful place overseas. I'm excited, I want to go there. And when I had those people come for me and they took me abroad, I was scared because it was new to me. I was really, really scared. What led me to become the way I am what led me towards being on the street, what led me to go out there and put women out on the street and get involved in wrongdoings. I want to tell you, I was just another regular happy young boy that thought that life was tough and this was my way out, was to go to another country where the land is rich and filled with milk and honey. But I want to tell you something. As a little boy, those were my best times. Because when I came to this country, where I thought the milk and honey was flowing, I walked into a home where these people were supposed to be my guardian. That my family, my grandparents says, well, these people will look after you. They'll do you right. How does a man talk about the people that are supposed to love him? How does a person come and tell his story without making those people who love him, without not letting them look bad? What led me to become on the street? What led me to become a part of the wrongdoings? <laughs> I'm getting to it. But how? If you were in my shoes right now, how could you tell your story without hurting all of those who are around you? Without tearing them up? Without people looking on the street and saying, there he is, there he is. He's the one that done it. He's the one that, that talked about his guardians. The people who, who loved him and grew him and give him food to eat and sent him to school yeah they done that they sent me to school i couldn't read them right when i come in this country i was 11 years old that's right they, they educate me and this this is a part of the product of what they did for me but they also tore me up they also took away something that no one can ever replace. They also ripped out my guts and made me empty, angry, lost. <laughs> they have a name for us. They call us the barrel babies, the barrel children, the ones that they send a barrel of food across the seas and say, this is from the ones who love you. This is from your guardian. See, barrel babies don't always come out straight. Barrel babies need a father. Barrel babies need a mother. Food clothes does not grow a child. To support a child is not just to give him food and clothes. The barrel babies are dying. Because by the time you sent for them, they've lost what it is to have you for a real mother. They've lost what it is to have you for a real father. I'm not a preacher man that's coming with you, throwing the Bible at you, looking down at you. I am you, my brother. But with a difference, I made a choice. And the choice that I chose was Jesus Christ.
That was the only difference. I chose Jesus Christ. Choose ye to whom he served. A man cannot serve two masters. Vision of Truth is graciously funded through the purchase of CDs and DVDs, through those buying and selling a home or business, through individuals who require a bridge loan, or by simply booking Jerry Thompson for your next special event. Visit us at visionoftruth.com or call us at 647-692-7793. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is so wonderful to see that we're still serving the same God of yesterday, today, and forever. Please support this ministry right now by calling this number on the screen and ordering your CD by Evangelist Jerry Thompson. Please call now and support this ministry and help us get guns off the street. That's it. Oh. The age of 11, 11 years old. I came in this wonderful, great country of opportunity. Yeah, I thought there was opportunity there. But for me, it was devastation, excitement. It was a culture shock. That's right, a culture shock. I don't know nobody. Who are these strange people? What's going on in my life? Had I known that my grandmother would have sent me here with these strangers and the happenings that are going on, I would have been a good boy. I would not have stole that cookie out of the cookie jar. I would not have ran away when they asked me to go and fetch water and put in the drum. I would not have skipped school. I would have learned my ABC. I would have learned how to read and write. But I did not know I came in this country and I walked into a family of strangers. I didn't know nobody. I was just introduced to these people. As I speak and tell you this story now, fear grips my heart. Because I don't know how to tell you that you don't see me to be somebody awful and disgusting. All I ask you to do is you put your foot in my shoes and think of your story, how you could tell it without hurting anybody. But you know what? The cycle has to be broken. And you know why I'm taking a stand? You know why I'm breaking this cycle? Because of this little sweetheart. Because of my children. Because of the cycle that I've been putting up with all my life, until now. But my children are growing up. They are growing up and they gotta know that the cycle is broken. So that what happened to me would not happen to this fine, sweet looking baby. And I gotta answer to those kids. And that is why I put the gun down. That is why I've stopped doing the wrongs. Because I do not want the same faith for my children. But I want to tell you why. I picked the gun. When I went into this family that I never met my whole entire life, <laughs> I didn't find freedom. I came into a family where for the first time I'm witnessing two grown adults fighting each other, chasing each other, watching bloodshed, locking up in closets, crying because I don't know none of them. I don't know any of the kids who I am living with to go to them and say, what's going on? Scared, frightened, lost. Oh my God, what makes me become a man on the street, pimping women, getting involved in drugs, not having fear to hurt somebody? If someone takes you at 11 years old and shows you 
how to bathe yourself. Me, a young boy that's been washing in river and swimming in water for how many years? Getting the bushes that make suds to wash my feet. Knowing how to bathe and having someone that's supposed to be my guardian washing me. And in washing me, maintaining a long period of time washing my parts, my private parts, until there becomes an erection. It is strange. At the time I thought it funny. I laughed. That's right, I laughed. Because I thought, you know, I was embarrassed. I laughed and I looked up in the air because I could not look at this person. What makes a young man becomes somebody that does not respect the woman? What leads a young man to do wrong and have no respect for others? Growing. The days go by, the weeks go by, going into a school, not knowing how to read or write, culture shock, not knowing how to spell my name, been put in a class that the kids are much smaller than I am, being stubborn in respect to learning because I'm scared, I don't know the system, nobody prepared me to adjust I didn't know. I didn't have words to complain to how I was feeling because I didn't know how to talk about it. I didn't know how to put it in words. Do you know what I'm talking about? You know why I'm telling the story? Because I'm not alone. I'm not alone. I'm not a preacher man that's coming with you, throwing the Bible at you, looking down at you. I am you, my brother. But with a difference, I made a choice. And the choice that I chose was Jesus Christ. That was the only difference. I chose Jesus Christ. Choose ye to whom he served. A man cannot serve two masters. I trust that you're enjoying the telecast. When we bring you this special announcement, I want to thank each and every last person that's out there that is chosen to help us get guns off the street by calling us and saying, Reverend Thompson, I want to participate. I want to make a difference. And I want to thank you for stepping up because you called in. You said, look, I'm looking for a house to buy. Um, can you help me? Yes, we can. And we are. We have several houses. Look at this one. This one is an awesome house that is now available for sale in Jamaica. Here's another one. This is also for sale in Jamaica. There are others. Look, even land. Here's land for sale. Look at this. You're talking about good properties that are here. If you're looking for land to buy uh, in order to build your very own design, here it is. Here's another property. Isn't that awesome? Whoa, look at this one. A lovely eight-bedroom mansion located in St. Andrews, Kingston 8. It has a great view of the city. Don't wait to buy land. Buy land and wait. When you register a house and say, I want you to sell my house because I love what you're doing, you are helping. It is truly better to light a candle than to curse the darkness. And when you help us get guns off the street, you're giving us a safer community in your home where you live. Here are some others that are in Canada presently that are for sale. We even have land people register. We have land in Texas right now, 21 acre of land in Texas. That's something that you'd be interested in for your children or your children's children. It's long term, it's, it's, it's cow town, you know, so I know all about it because I got some property down there. So just call in at 647-692-7793. I'll see you there and uh, I'll be waiting for your call. And if you wanna call the number that's in Jamaica, there's a number that's listed right there in Jamaica. Don't wait to buy land. Buy land and wait and help us get guns off the street. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is so wonderful to see that we're still serving the same God of yesterday, today, and forever. Please support this ministry right now by calling this number on the screen and ordering your CD 
by Evangelist Jerry Thompson. Please call now and support this ministry and help us get guns off the street. That's it. Oh. I want you to know out there that you are not alone. I want to tell you something. The reason why I'm telling this story is because I cannot bear it any longer. I'm 32 years old. I'll be 33. April coming. And every time I watch the Arado show or the Oprah show, I keep seeing myself over and over. Every time I get a phone call of somebody that is in trouble, involved in drugs and asking for prayer, I see myself. Every time I hear a young person says, Jerry, Jerry, Oh God, Jerry, help me. I'm in trouble, Jerry. My man's got drugs in the house. I got a little boy. That... Oh God, I got a little boy and if the police comes here and find drugs in my house, it's gonna take away my son from me. And I love my son, Jerry, but I love my man too. And if I call, the police to get it out of here. He's gonna knock my head off. Or if I take it and throw it out, he's gonna knock my head off. What I'm talking about is a whole heap of mess. My testimony that I bring to you, I didn't bring it to you because I want to expose myself. I want to expose the problem. And the fact of the matter is that I had that experience. I know what it is to be sexually abused family that loved me a grandmother and a grandmother grandfather that loved me families around me have a full support system in place going to church doing all the right things but wanting to run to that place that land of opportunity opportunity did not come my way violence and crime came my way sexual abuse mental abuse psychological abuse and this is a scar for life so what can we do to solve this problem? This is why I always ask for sponsorship and I said support it. If you're one of those people out there who've been through it like I have, support it so that it needs not to happen to somebody else. Vision of Truth is graciously funded through the purchase of CDs and DVDs, through those buying and selling a home or business, through individuals who require a bridge loan, or by simply booking Jerry Thompson for your next special event. Visit us at visionoftruth.com or call us at 647-692-7793. You say we come here and share all my sorrows. You say you'd be there for all my tomorrow. I came so close to sending you away but just like you promised you came here to stay I just had to pray your goodness so great I can't understand and there, Lord, I know that all this was planned. I know you're here now and always will be. Your love lifts my chains and in you I am free. Oh, Jesus, why me? Jesus said, come to the waters and stand by my side. I know you are thirsty. You won't be denied. 
I felt every teardrop When in darkness you cried And I hope to remind you It was for those tears I died Jesus I give you my heart and my soul for I know that without you I'd never be whole Savior you've opened all the right doors and I thank you and I praise you from earth's humble shore Jesus I'm yours Many of you are wondering how you can help in this ministry I say to you call now to order your CD they're only $10 Shipping and handling, I think it comes up to about $15. Just order now. Log on. And that's how you help. But there are many of you out there who have homes and who is thinking of buying a home in the future. To get guns off the street, to help me to do motivational seminar, crime and drug prevention, all around the world. If you own any kind of real estate that you want to sell, I have agents all over the world in over 200 countries that can assist you. Call that number right now and have us sell your property for you. We will get the highest value for it because we have the top agent and agencies that is working with us. Vision of Truth is a ministry that is touching lives and making a difference. We light candles. We don't curse darknesses because the darkness is there for us to go and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ and set the captive free. If you want to purchase real estate, you also call us. We're here for you, to you, and because of you. We will assist you in making sure you get the best deal on a home to make sure it's not just a house. It's a home. And our blessings will definitely go with it. In moving into your home, you will get prayer. And also in purchasing that home, we'll make sure that we have someone to assist you also with financing. May God bless you and thank you. Until next time. Thank you for tuning in to Vision of Truth. Sometimes in life it may seem that you are alone, but you're not alone. God is with you. Vision of Truth Outreach Ministries, where a nobody can become a somebody. Why? Because I was you, but with a difference. I got involved in drugs and crime and on my way to take a man's life. But I'm one of the stories that turned out good. And I got many stories like mine to bring to you each and every week from around the world. Remember, man's reject is God's project. And who God hires, no man fire. Amazing, amazing what my God can do. It's amazing, amazing what my God can do. It's amazing.